Let's check what the big designers are up to this season. Are you ready for some window shopping action? Time to look at all the things we can't afford. Don't ask me why my hair is this green. I hate it. Just waiting for you to wash out a little more. So I can redo. This is what I was going for. And this is what I got. I don't consider this a win. Just saying. Zushi, you're not going outside. If the door is closed. You're supposed to be in here. Because you're not going outside to keep barking at everything that moves. This calls to throwing a tantrum. Nordstrom first. I want the most expensive stuff. And then within that bracket, we're going to check what is what is what is going on? What is going what on? What are people paying for? Women. Clothes. Price high to low. McQueen dress for 13 bucks. Embracing the shredder look. I hate this dress so much. What even is this? Oh god. Ugh. No. I hate it. Get this. Genuine shearling wrap coat. What is a shearling? Shearling is a skin from a recently shorn sheep or lamb that has been tanned and dressed with the wool left so on. So this is the things you can buy at Ikea for your cats to lay on. Or at least it is the thing we buy at Ikea for our cats to lay on. <laughs> Ship skin with studs. 13,000 bucks. Fine. Fine, you do what you do. It's pretty. I wouldn't say I would spend 9,000 on this. It's a silk blend. It's not even 100% silk. Under 60% silk and the rest is plastic. No. Ew, Valentino. This Valentino pink is everywhere. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, look how cute. When you go shopping, you can you hang all of your bags on your back. It looks awful. I have the feeling Burberry lost its touch a long time ago. It's gorgeous. I think my grandmother has one towel that looks like that. Oh god, what is this? Leather midi lace dress. It, it's crooked. Not even Alexander McQueen is able to install a zipper correctly. <laughs> Oh, look, this was also in a red card. I think I gave this dress a very low rating because it looked bad on the person, but it looks bad on the model as well. It's actually just a bad dress. Oh my god. I like shirt dress. Again, Burberry with all this. I'm wearing Burberry. I think it's very cheap. It looks cheap. Sorry, Burberry. I hate it. This is fancy. <gasps> wow. This reminds me of Adi embroidery, giving me Barbie doll vibes. Very, very, very nice Barbie. Barbie doll vibes. Bigger shoulder pads again. Interesting shape, but it looks like a two-piece. Oh god. This neckline is weird. Oh, you're still here from last year? Really? Well, I guess no one wants to buy this. It is ugly. Oh god. I love it when I don't understand fashion. I love when things confuse me. You have the huge sleeves that you can put up. Of course, you don't need to go around town dragging the sleeves on the floor and catching all the dirt from the street. And if you wear the sleeves, it's very cool and puffy. This is a Sophia Nygaard look for sure. Sophia, please. Buy this one. I need to see it on an actual person. <laughs> Why? Uh, how? Oh my god! Peter Griffin's cousin. Leg up here. Holy sh- Oh lord. I'm very confused by this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The postman. Backless wool and silk mini dress. Same idea from the Barbie dress. Especially the skirt that I was not able to recreate in the way that I wanted to, but I really like this one. How dramatic. Sightseeing pockets. Sky high hem. Sky high indeed. <laughs> it's wool and silk. Wow, this dress must be so soft. Wow. Oh, I want this. This is so pretty. I want it. Valentino just decided let's cut all the hems, have all the legs out. Let's show the bacon. Release the bacon. In a 5,000 bucks Valentino dress. What is this? Supposed to be a heart? It's supposed to be a heart. Oh my god, you look like a door. Moschino, yes! I think it just exploded the microphone. It's a door. You're really a door. Oh lord. Moschino, I love you forever. Oh, and I will get my hands on this metallic mesh. I will. I will. This one is also old. Come on, man. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. Wow. I love it. I love it. I would totally do this and transform this train into a skirt. And this is 80s on crack. 80s on crack. 80s on crack. Oh, wow. If you, one of you bacons, see one person wearing this, especially if you're in New York, because I think this is very New York. Please, please, please send me a picture. I, I need to see this in the wild. Look at this. What is even this? What even is this? Zushi, come here. Go plats, children. Are you going to puke, Shushu? You're going to puke, right? Yeah, it's okay, fine, Shushu. Um, 
Why did they cut the picture like that? I want to see the top of the sleeves. Are you for real? I know, I need it. 80s are back, baby. Can I go to Far Fetch the last time? Wait, what? What was that? Wait, wait, wait. $51,000 for this thing. You got to be joking. Oh my god, it has cutouts, embroidered. It has feathers. Why are the pictures so small? Give me pictures. Big pictures. Uh, this reminds me of Voldemort. I mean, Jeffree Star. I think this is something Jeffree Star would wear. I'm obsessed with this one now. Everything that's crystal embellished. It's probably sewn by hand, especially if the crystals are this big. I don't think it justifies the 28,000. <laughs> no. Wow, wow, wow. I can feel the stress, the plasticness of this dress, and oh, I can't. Nordstrom, I'm sorry, but Farfetch has way better things than you do. Farfetch has everything I'm looking for in expensive and weird clothing. This is not sponsored, by the way. Whoa! This, I want it. I want it so bad. There are so many things I want to have now. I can't. This is so adorable. I'm still sad for the floppiness of the Sharknado dress and this is lifting my spirits again to go back to Tool and try to puff. <laughs> this is a garment with a story and I, I want to know the story. I want to know what is this. Oh, wow, look at the bag. It's so simple. Pansy applicator. I know this is the name of the flower but pansy always get me giggling. Try going through airport security with this one. Seriously? 12,000 bucks for this? Ooh. Wow. This is badly made. Wow, is this ugly. If it looks ugly in the model, it will look ugly on anyone. Wow, this is no. so adorable. Aww. I know I already made a dress like this. Can you blame me for loving this? It's so delicate and so pretty. And I love the nakedness of this design. Wow. Cousin it. <laughs> wow. I love it and I hate it at the same time. I could never pull something like this off. Oh my god. This is the one the pregnant lady wore to the Can festival. Well, she wore the long version, but it's the same thing and it costs 10,000 bucks for nothing. No fabric. It's denim. According to the description, Wow, it looks so amazing. Look at this shape. I love the shape. When I was making the Moschino hamburger dress, I was searching for sequin tool, but with transparent sequin. It's impossible to find. There isn't anywhere. I don't understand why. It's so hard to find it. Oh my god. Just want to throw everything I own away and just make myself all of the tool dresses from Oscar de la Renta. All of them. My dress. My favorite dress. 9,000 bucks. Latex. Latex, 100%. Don't think I would trust to buy such an expensive dress and latex that was not made for me. The fit. If it goes wrong. My Barbie dress was not that wrong. Does have a princess seam over here. These two. Almost got the shape right for the skirt to bodice transition. It was not enough. Oh, this is also my dream dress. My dream print in general. I love this. Saw it on the Cannes Festival. It's cool to see that they're going for ready to wear on the red carpet and you can actually see the prices they're paying for their stuff. <laughs> The transparent panel coat. Here we go again. Oh, this is the one I saw on the red carpet. Only 7,000 bucks. But it's so pretty. Scottish plaid attempt and this detail on the front. But look at this back. I mean, was this really necessary to have this line like on your butt crack? Come on. It first will look like you were tearing the dress because your behind is so big. And second, it looks like you're spreading your butt cheeks. Show it to everyone. This is ridiculous. No. And why? Would you do that in the center back? Oh, oh but it's Prada. Prada is weird. The devil does wear Prada because it has no sense of style. But who am I to say anything, right? This looks like a rabbit. Are there feathers in the middle? What is Just this? tool. Wow. I, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> It's a coat. I think it's leather. No, it's wool. It's actual wool. Aww. I want to make this. Please, let me make this. Should I make this? And I really like the door. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry for my ignorance. It's the Baroque furnishing leather strapless dress. Okay then. <laughs> oh, you can have a dress, you can have a jacket, you can have a long jacket. All with your cutlery. So when you go on a fancy dinner, you are very well prepared. A skirt with a belt. You can have all the cutlery things. You can have the cutlery look. Bitch, be prepared for 
anything. I know this high luxury items don't go on clearance. So what do they do with the remainder of the stock they have? Because you cannot tell and convince me that they sell everything. I know Burberry burned them. That's why I have such a hatred towards Burberry. But what do they do with it? They'll be on sale forever because there's a lot of old stuff going on. I mean, here. the clothing section was very boring. There's a lot of old things. Aside from two or three things, nothing very interesting. So let's go. Handbags. Oh my god. Dude, it's Liber. I love her design so much. I wish there was a picture of this opened. It's a bedazzled chest. <gasps> no. Oh my god. Asparagus? Asparagus. Peace crystal clutch. No. Wait, this with the banana dress? <laughs> oh, come on, this is a crochet bag. This is really something you can get for nothing on the Brazilian beach. There's no need to spend 6,000 bucks on this. Like 7,000, almost 7,000 bucks on it. No, no. But this? Mm, very tiny, as usual. But the detailing is amazing. And how does this hand work as a clutch? Oh, wait. You can actually fold this finger. So you just have like a flip the bird bag. Oh, yes, please. Just let me flip the bird. <laughs> this is amazing. Katy Perry! Oh, it's a mushroom clutch. I mean, I feel like after making the punch duck, I need all of those. Crown jewels. Ooh, I should do this to go with 100,000 pom-pom dress. Hello, Bacon. We are trying to reach 100,000 subscribers so I can get the nice verification tick. And we need the perfect dress to go with So that. I want you to help me reach that goal and help us make the 100,000 pom-pom dress. Send your pom-poms to my P.O. box. Doesn't matter the color. The size needs to be one inch or two and a half centimeters in diameter. Let's do this. Let's spread the bacon all over the world. I already got the first packages. Let's open them. I'm excited. This is our first box of pom-poms. I want to know how many will fit in here. Oh my God. Look at them. Oh my God, they're so pretty. All the colors. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my god. Thank you so much. There is no note in here, but Jay Kanz or Kanz, thank you so much for the pom poms. They are gorgeous. Gorgeous. We have 70 pom poms. Isn't that their one? Oh my god. Oh, I love them so much. Hi, Nanny. These are the pom poms that I made for the project. Good luck with this project and whatever comes next. Thank you, Maximus from Tangled. Oh. That. We have a total of 76 bacon pom-poms so far. And I need to keep writing that down. It's gonna leave a paper here with the number of pom-poms that we have. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You have no idea. So help us reach 100,000 bacon. Help the bacon family grow to 100,000 subscribers. We have until June of next year to reach this goal because we are going to London and I want to wear my beautiful coronation dress there. I wish the queen would be able to see it, but <sighs> grandma's gone. So let's get back to whatever it is I'm doing right now because I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Totally. Oh, come on. It's just like I I'm in love with all of her designs. It's poodle. <laughs> Poodle! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so tiny! Oh. Seriously, the day I'm rich and famous, I will buy myself all of those bags. Oh, come on. This can't be real. They are so adorable. All of them are so freaking adorable. Another thing that I'm realizing right now is that the design is already painted on the bag, and then they just add the crystals to embellish them. And they have different sizes of crystals as well. Mm. Learning new things, I am. Oh, it's a feather duster. A 4,000 bucks feather duster, though, so fancy. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's huge! You're carrying a dead cat. <laughs> and this goes with that weird dress. I'm flabbergasted by all these Judith Liber bags that I can't move on from this. I'm so happy. Everything else looks boring in comparison to the Judith. 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 Why am I so... Judy. Judy. I'm just gonna call her Judy from now on because now we're best friends. I decided we're best friends now, so I will call her Judy. Judy, please do not smite me from up there. Another feather duster. I feel like if you got one of these, you would definitely lose feathers everywhere. Oh, pajama Hector leather bag. Look at this. Oh. I think I need to make a pajama for my Hector, for my Thummy. I don't know if you knew, but you can get the pattern for that bag for 10 bucks on my website. This looks like a fluffy penis. If you watch Big Mouth, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, question to you. If you had the money to buy something like this, would you buy something 
crazy or would you go for the normal theme designs that you can get for cheaper because I think if I had the money for that I would buy something that the chance it will be found at like lower prices yeah. and it's not something that everyone would have because this much in a handbag or a piece of clothing it has to be all so over the top that no one else can copy it this looks like mac and cheese this looks like mac and cheese oh god it's a cheeto bag oh my god it's a mouse and it costs three thousand bucks you have got to me. it's not a mouse it's a rat it's a bag in red shape and it's a man bag i don't think that accessories should be gender divided but i don't think i actually know any male person who would wear a bag like this they could be missing it's a champagne bucket clutch bag just carry a bucket around <laughs> it's a sofa oh my god where do the things go <laughs> this part is the bag oh yes well at least your cell phone would fit in here Birkin for 110,000 bucks and I don't get the appeal you cannot convince me of getting one of those ever I think I will still have to go to Nordstrom after all because they don't have anything on Judith Library here no duty for me no duty guys this is 11,000 euro oh my god I want it where would I go with this I have no idea but look at this it's beautiful it's gorgeous and it must be so uncomfortable 21 people are viewing this do you think any of them will buy it will actually get it <laughs> do you have like a dream thing you would get Manolo Blahnik or Jimmy Choo or Louboutin it's transparent uh, uh, Barbara, you have my hate forever oh my God. should I go to one of those stores where they have all of the fancy things and actually try those on and covertly show them in the changing room but what if I actually fall in love with something I try on and then I'm sad that I cannot get it and I will be obsessed about it for a very long time what <laughs> Cargo boots. Camouflage cargo boots. I always wanted to wear over the knee boots, but my thighs are so thick that I cannot find anything that fits. And if they do fit, I look like a sausage and it's awful. I really like this heel. It's so interesting. Tulip heel. Aw, this is something I could make myself. Also something I would always consider before buying something very expensive is can I do it myself? Because if I can, then of course I will not pay for it. I really don't care about the label. I just care about how the things are. They are holographic. They are so cute so princess like this is a very good example of something that i would buy myself because i would never be able to do something like this to recreate this, this it is so cool i don't like pointed tail pumps though i love the general idea of this ew balenciaga <laughs> is known for weird things this is not just weird it's ugly can you jump higher with this it looks like they have like feathering <laughs> excuse me what oh come on seriously look at this shoe it doesn't have the middle part wow hey ho you like weird too Get this one. I used to wear heels all the time. And then I stopped. And now I can't anymore because my feet hurt so bad. Can't seem to get used to them anymore. Even for a fancy night out because it hurts so bad. Maybe it does have to do with the fact that I broke my toe and I never really took care of it. I never went to the doctor because of it. Just this. What is this? Oh, hell no. It's a balloon. It's a balloon. It's a freaking balloon. Why though? My obsession at the moment. The Valentino pink whatever. These pumps are... I can't. I, I just can't. I can't. This is what the big designers are doing. That's kind of depressing to be honest. If you want me to check some of the trends for fast fashion, drop me a comment below and tell me which stores you would like me to check. Release the poison on. Because <laughs> I, uh, I live under a bridge. I am the entire day in this basement and I I have no idea what's trendy anymore. I'm not a fast fashion person. First of all, I sew my clothes and the only fast fashion things I get are the basics like these tank tops and sports bras and sweatpants because those are very annoying to sew. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this shenanigans then check the one I put somewhere here on the screen because I think you're going to like it as well. Ta -ta.